Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through what Jam sets under number basis. In mathematics, we have different system of counting. For example, if I should ask you what is 1 plus 1, you simply tell me 2. If I say 3 plus 4, you simply tell me 7. If I say 5 plus 5, you simply tell me that it is 10. This is because we count in base 10. So the general way of counting that we know is in base 10 or decimal. We have other number bases. For example, if I say 1 plus 1 and I put 2 here and 2 here, this is no longer equal to 2 because we are no longer dealing with base 10 or decimal number. So this is base 10, this is base 10. In base 2, we deal with 0 and 1. So that is the highest number that should be in base 2. Why uh, 1 plus 1 can't be 2? It can't go beyond 1 because we are dealing in base 2. So 1 plus 1 is simply 1, 0 in base 2. Similarly, if we are dealing with base 3, the highest number in base 3 should be 2. So we have 0, 1, 2. These are the numbers that can appear in base 3. So therefore, if I say 1 base 3 plus 2 base 3, you cannot tell me that the answer is equals 3. Because in base 3, we deal with 0, 1, and 2. So in base 4, we deal with 0, 1, 2, and 3. So any base you are dealing with, the highest number should be less than the base. For example, our counting system, we deal with base 10. So the highest number in base 10 is 9. You have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is the highest in uh, base 10. So we start from 0. Now, Jan expects you to know how to add these different bases and how to subtract these bases, how to multiply number bases. These are things Jam expects you to know. Another thing Jam expects you to know under number bases is conversion. Conversion from one base to another. If I give you 110 one, uh, one, one, in base 2 and I say convert to base 10, So what you simply do in this case, you bring out the equation 1, 1, 1, 0 is in base 2. You look at it. This is the first value. You put it, you put 0 here. The next, you put 1, 2, 3. And you continue if the numbers were to be continued. So since we are converting to base 10, you simply come. Uh, this is the first value. 1 times 2. Raised to the power of 3. This 3. Plus this second one, 1 times 2, raised to the power of 2, that's the power, plus 1 times 2 again, but it's still the power of 1, plus 0 times 2, and 0 is to the power of 0. You see? So with this, you've converted from base 2 to base 10. So we simplify 1 times uh, 2 raised to the power of 3 is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. Uh, this is 8 plus 1 times 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1. Because uh, any reasonable value raised to the power of 0 would give you 1. So this will give you 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0. This will give you 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So this will give you 14 base 10. So that is it, you've converted. So you'll be given a lot of values, numbers to convert to a base 10. No matter how it is, this is how you convert. If I give you in base 3, for example, if I say uh, 2, 1, 0, base 3, because how to know base 3 is the value will not go beyond 2. If I give you this to convert to base 10, you simply say uh, 0, 1, 2, first. Then you say uh, 2 times this 3 raised to the power of 2. Plus 1, 1 times 3 raised to the power of 1. 
plus 0 times 3. 0 times 3 raised to the power of 0. So this will give you 2 times 3 times 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9. 9 plus 1 times 3 plus 0 times 1. This will give you 18 plus 3 plus 0. This will give you 21. Base 10. So any base you are giving, whether you base 8 or whatever, that's how you convert to base 10. Convert 14 base 10 to base 2. What you do, you simply do here like this. So we are converting 10, uh, 14. 14 is in base 10. We divide continuously by 2. If there's any remainder, we put. If there's no remainder, we put remainder 0. So you say um, 14 divided by 2 is 7 remainder, 0. You still use 2 again because you are converting to base 2. Now, uh, 7 divided by 2 is uh, 3. Because 6 divided by 2 is 3, remainder 1. So 3 divided by 2 is 1. They will take 1, remainder 1. Then 2 divided by 1, it's, uh, it's not enough for them to share. So it's 0, remainder the 1. So by the time you get to 0 here, you stop. Then you do something like this, arrow. So you start arranging the values from bottom to top. So you take the last one, next one, next one, and next 0, base 2. So we've converted from uh, base 10 to base 2. Look at it. This was in base 2. We converted to base 10. We got 14. So converting 14 from base 10 to base 2, we got this. This shows that we are correct. So any value you are given, like if you are given this one, now this is in base 3, and you are asked to convert to base 10, this is the answer. Now if you are asked to convert 21 from base 10 to base 3, you simply say uh, 21, 3, you keep dividing, putting the remainder on your right until you get to 0. If you are giving uh, other bases other than 10, and asked to add or multiply or subtract, the easiest thing to do is first convert to base 10, then multiply or add or subtract in base 10, then you convert your answer to the base we are dealing with. So these are the things you should know on that number basis, conversion of number bases, addition of number bases, multiplication of number bases, and other basic operations. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips for your exam. And feel free to check out my previous videos.